Ooh. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? I didn't mean to push so hard. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is, this is very odd, my son. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of its master, it's unheard of! Oh, yeah. This is quite the problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. My son, when you said you'd... Oh, and I'm just... Look. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You'd better go on ahead to see if you can find where your bird is gone. I get it. Long cutscenes. So what, uh... You know, you guys can read. I'll just commentate. What I find really annoying about this game, though, like, the only, one of the only problems I have with it, is that it has, like, a six-year-long intro. I've never played a Zelda game, or really many games, that takes so long to get into it. So if these first few parts are kind of dry, well, I'll get better. It'll get better when I get to the actual dungeons and shit. When we get to the adventure. That makes it easy to commentate, but it's hard to commentate when all there is is dialogue, dialogue, tutorial, dialogue, dialogue, tutorial. You know, it's just stupid. So, now we have to go find out what the fuck happened to our bird and what kind of jackass could do this to me. I'll give you a hint. His name rhymes with moose. And also rhymes with truce. And goose. It is goose. With an R. Hold up, my son. Hey, 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 hey! My son. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is use the A to dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then shake the nunchuck when you're in front of the tree. To BAM! Do a roll right into it. So come on, please! Quite excited, little boy. Okay, all right, I'll bite. <laughs> Woohoo! You knocked a fucking beetle out of the tree. Now chase it like a weirdo. Strange kids these days. Chasing bugs. Never chase no bugs in my day. I play fucking video games. Tell me these people got no video games? Pfft, losers. <laughs> you know, Groose. That sure was a pain. What with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> of course it was! You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa, my son. So, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? <laughs> What's your problem anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? That's my, that's my impression of you. Get it? Because it sounds just like you. You're just desperate to win, so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart you might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Okay, okay. Bring it on, douchebag. <laughs> Douche McQueerface. You are. Yeah. 
You know, we're all getting tired of you. You never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. Why is go way back? In never mind. You've been friends since you were kids, big deal? Well, added the question mark at the wrong point. It doesn't change the fact that you <laughs> Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored society through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Yeah, that's what's up, bitch. Homeland time. Uh, Zelda, hey, now it's, uh, <laughs> Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on my son again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on spreading your democracy into his brain cells? Yeah. No. Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Suppose the Americans come and invade the homeland and spread their democracy throughout our country? No, no way. We're too strong. We're Russian. I suppose you are. Pff, forget it. I was, I was supposing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, my son. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. My son, those guys aren't going to keep us f f Oh, aren't going to- no, fuck that up. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. It's not gonna work. Father said he took- yeah, fuck. I'm just gonna skip to the meat of the game. The meat of the steak, which is all of the steak. It's really no particular spot that's just meat. A steak. So, anyway, no, I was just skipping through some dialogue because all that's going on is Groose did something with my fucking horse. So, I need to go find my horse so that way I can be okay and do the race and be a knight Cause that's what I want to be I want to be a knight so now we go to this cave here and oh no I don't have a sword okay hold on unless there's a way to get into the cavern elsewhere I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you just had to walk close to it. I feel stupid now. I feel my bird's presence in this area. Waterfall cave. Beware of blood sucking monsters. No kids allowed. Yeah, that's. That's really pleasant. Ever read that sign back? That was a pleasant read. Recommend it. Fucking Stephen King wrote that shit. Oh, it wasn't that creepy, but still. So, now I'm expected to go get a sword. It's the only way I could do anything right now. Um, that's not going to help that much. You know, my bare hands. Because Link can't, you know, slide between the sticks or pull them out. He has to cut them. Um, so I can't go to the shop yet. Starting to forget where I get... No, I don't forget where I get a sword. Because I get a sword at the Knight's Schwartzman Academy. Like the practice room. Which is over here. As you can see, other parts of Skyloft were blocked up by people. And just standing in the way, being obnoxious. And that's because it led us here. Jesus told us. Not really, but anyway. Um, so you talk to this guy, who I forget how, how weird he looks. Oh, 
Nice facial hair. So you still want to get me in some Schwartz practice? Even we'll get in some Schwartz practice, even though today is the ceremony. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I just I want to swing at things. Look, it's taking me 30 minutes to get a sword. So yeah, you know. Oh, sorry, I didn't pay attention to that. I was busy complaining. So you're telling me I have to wait till over 30 minutes into the game to get a fucking sword? Okay, an ocarina of time? Yeah, it took like less than 10 minutes to get a sword. I still think it was a butter knife, but still. Alright, so I have the practice sword now. I really hope I don't have to listen to that motherfucker talk about how to use it, because I know how to use it, because I've beaten the fucking game, and apparently the game, well, of course the game, and, you know, that librarian guy know I've played through um, the game before, so I don't think I have to do this. But, anyway, I do have to say, I dig the motion controls, and I do think that they're pretty smooth. And, hey, my son, you can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing? Sneaking out with that! Scud! No. What? Your loft wing is missing? You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is peaceful, and only knights carry swords. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my bird. Stop talking. Thank you. I love you. All right. So now we have a fucking sword. Told you guys this intro is long as fuck. I don't like it. I mean, I love the story of this game, but I don't like that we have to say it through all of this. I mean, it was talking and shit in the beginning of Ocarina of Time, but not that much. It was like straight into the adventure, and this is not. Yeah, I know what you're called. Okay, actually, I'm pretty sure you were called Gossip Stones in the other game, but still. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's pretty impressive. Tell me you, you tell, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and give you the access to all the hints right from the start. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm happy I met you, Mr. Gossip Stone. Oh, I'm sorry. Shake your stone. <laughs> Same thing. Don't be a hater. Be a shika stone. Give a hint. Um. So, how you guys doing? So, as I was saying, I think the motion controls in this game are actually rather smooth and follow my movements pretty well so and you can do this and you can hold your sword really weirdly actually when I first played this game I thought any way Link held his sword like in sync with you was a weird way of holding his sword anyway here's our first blue rupee worth five rupees of course and um, the only annoying part of about those is that Every time you quit your game and come back to it, if you collect like five rupees, it'll be like, Oh, this is the first time you ever collected this shit. And you'll be like, no, it really isn't. But yeah, this is our first action with the sword play, and I love it. I love it so much, I like to draw circles with my schwag. And the sprinting helps you get up steep hills and ramps and... Oh, God, it's so much fun. And the game punishes you for just randomly flailing around, too, for the most part, when it comes to the more strong enemies. You have to swing specifically. You have to use strategy. That's what I dig about it. That's what I like. But what I don't like... is getting 20 rupees. I hate that shit. Yeah, it's a diagonal slash, diagonal slash. No, that was a horizontal slash. That's another horizontal slash. That's a vertical slash. That's a super horizontal, super vertical slash. You guys know what slashes are going on. Even this slash. Because I'm just like, slash, 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 slash. And we exit the cave. Actually, I'm almost... No, this isn't where I came from.